After the heartbreaking injury to Jordan Travis, there's got to be questions on where this Florida State team stands in the college football playoff picture. And I wanted to talk about how I felt on the whole situation because there's been a lot of people saying that an undefeated Florida State team without Jordan Travis shouldn't make the playoffs. But then you also have other people saying that they should make it if they go 13-0. Because how do you leave a Florida State team that went 13-0 and took care of business all year out of the playoffs for a one-loss team? Now, I see both perspectives on the story, but let's go all the way back to 2014 and talk about the Ohio State team that won a national title. You may be asking, why in the world are you bringing up a team from almost 10 years ago? And it's because they had a similar situation that Florida State is in right now. At the start of the season, Ohio State's starting quarterback, Braxton Miller, got hurt and he was out for the rest of the season. Then you had next up a guy that a lot of people are familiar with, whose name is JT Barrett who ultimately led Ohio State to a pretty good season. But then he got hurt at the end of the season, right before the playoffs. Now at this point, you may be asking, what's next for this Ohio State team, who's a pretty good team, and they're down to their third string quarterback? There's no way they make it to the playoffs and win a national title, right? Well, next up was third string Cardell Jones, who had to step up and lead a team to a blowout win against Wisconsin in the Big Ten Championship. And even with a third string quarterback, they got put in as the fourth seed even though there was a lot of debate of them not making it and a lot of people didn't agree with them making it. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Ohio State had a loaded roster that year and they might be better than this Florida State team this year. But that 2014 Ohio State team went on to win a national title by beating Alabama in the semifinals and then going on to beat Oregon. But that's something you have to look at. Does Florida State really deserve to get left out if they take care of business and win out? We don't know how good the backup is going to play. But who in the world expected the Eagles with Nick Foles to win a Super Bowl? I don't think Nick Foles ever thought he would come close to winning a Super Bowl. Sometimes backups just shine and can actually play amazing football. And it's going to be very hard to replace a special player like Jordan Travis. But this is an opportunity for Tate Roadmaker to step up for Florida State in a crucial time. Passion can drive you to do crazy things in sports. But honestly, if you ask me, I think no matter how much Florida State wins their games by, no matter if they blow out the teams they play or if they only win by one point. If they go 13-0, they should be in. They have two games left on the season, Florida and Louisville. And it's not like they have even played a terrible schedule this year. It may not be a super tough schedule, but they still play worthy opponents. And they beat LSU better than Alabama did. And LSU is the number 15 ranked team in the country. And beating Louisville should seal the debate for Florida State. But I don't know if that's going to be enough for the committee to put Florida State in. Will anything be enough? I don't know. We still have a couple weeks of college football left before bowl season and the best part of college football, the college football playoffs. And we honestly just have to let everything play out. But if Florida State can beat Louisville with the backup quarterback, they should be in. So that answers my question. Should a 13-0 Florida State get in? I say absolutely. There's no reason to leave them out. Because then you're just discrediting all the work all of the players and coaches have been putting in all year. The team is called Florida State. The team isn't called Jordan Travis. There's more than just one player on that team. And people are overreacting to this because if Florida State does really suck without Jordan Travis, then they will lose to Florida and Louisville, right? And then in that situation, yes, you do leave them out of the playoffs because a 12-1 Florida State team shouldn't get in over a 12-1 Texas, Alabama, or Oregon. And you could also make a debate that a 12-1 Florida State team doesn't get in over a 11-1 Ohio State or Michigan. But that's just my opinion. But why in the world should a 13-0 Florida State team get left out? It doesn't make sense to me. People may make the debate that Florida State is just another TCU or they're overrated. But what are the odds of a national title blowout happening again? TCU deserved to be in the playoffs last year, even if they lost to Georgia. Because ultimately... They did beat Michigan to make the national title. People shouldn't compare TCU to Florida State. And I do think TCU gets a lot of disrespect, more than they should get, because the only team that could beat them was Kansas State in a very close game and the Georgia Bulldogs. And it just happened to be a blowout in the game that mattered the most in the national championship. How about we give credit to a TCU team absolutely nobody expected to make the national title? It was one outcome of the game. There could have been so many other scenarios to that game. And imagine if TCU actually beat Georgia, which ultimately didn't happen. So if Florida State gets blown out by Michigan or Georgia, like I've heard a lot of people been saying will happen, then so be it. Because what if Florida State actually makes a run in the playoffs? If you take care of business and go undefeated in a Power 5 conference, then you should be in. Plain and simple. And this is honestly a huge reason I'm excited for the 12-team playoff. Because if you feel your team should be in but they didn't get in the 14 playoff, a 12-team playoff will give teams an opportunity to show they're the best. 
and I am excited for the conference realignment, but I wouldn't necessarily say I agree with all the realignment stuff. But an example of why the 12-team playoff is good is because a lot of people felt it was wrong for Alabama to get left out last year. But if we had a 12-team playoff, we could have possibly seen Alabama in the national championship. But anyways, back to Florida State. I definitely do believe they deserve a playoff spot if they win their last two games because beating a decent Louisville team, who will possibly be ranked in the top 10 when they play them, should seal them a spot in the playoffs. Because if they can do it with their backup, what makes you think they can't make a name out of themselves in the playoffs? One injury on a team shouldn't define a team as a whole. And do I think Florida State will win out? Honestly, I don't think they will win out because I do think the Jordan Travis injury hurt them big time. But if they can't prove me wrong and beat Florida and beat Louisville, then there's no reason they should be left out. It will be interesting to see how the playoff committee looks at the whole Florida State situation, and I hope they make the right choice. And maybe Florida State shouldn't make the playoffs, but I'm just giving my opinion on it, and I could definitely see them leaving Florida State out if Alabama somehow beats an undefeated Georgia in the SEC championship. That would really shake up the college football playoffs if Alabama beats Georgia. But anyways, that's going to do it for the video. How do you guys feel about a 13-0 Florida State team making the playoffs? Let me know down in the comments below. And also leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more daily uploads like this one. And peace out guys.